everyone and welcome to Gava Racing. Hopefully everyone's having a great day today and we are here in Gava Racing as I just said for the Bahrain Grand Prix. We are here to start the season with a proper kick here around Bahrain International Circuit and it's going to be a very very exciting race. Hopefully everyone's having a great day today and a great weekend um, here um, around the world and Today we have a new commentator here. Good evening, everyone. Uh, so we have a new commentator here, and um, it's Lowline or Lion Leon, if you wish to call him that. And he he comes right now. Hello, everyone. Uh, Leo here, and um, yeah, hopefully we have a good uh, session here in um, Bahrain. But Simon the Apex has crashed out, by the way. Ooh. Summer Apex has crashed. Uh, that is very, very, very big. Let's see what has happened to him. I uh, believe he's got disqualified. I'm really going to just quickly check uh, what happened to Summer Apex. Uh, I'm just going to quickly... And he got actually got terminal damage. So he definitely got damage from somewhere. But really unfortunate. Yeah. Hello to Remy Ashwin in the chat. Good evening. And uh, hello to Lime Time as well. Uh, yeah, so obviously we have a lot of drivers here now, more than usual. And as you can see now, Matza leads the type t uh, table right now with a 125.828, with Heblerino and MP separated by three milliseconds, very close between the pair of them. And let's see how it all pans out. Shortbread now goes fastest by five, one, uh, five milliseconds from Matza, so it's going to be very close here at the moment so shortbread leading the way at the moment shortbread leading the way great lap from him uh matza very close though very close to matza yes very very close so let's see what uh can the other drivers do as joshi uh jmb cyril as well as did jmb cyril makes a big jump to uh, not a big jump uh for him it's a p12 for the man at the moment, O'Rangey, the weekend four, or, um, weekend league season four world champion at the moment, P30, not going really well for him. So he's going to be going for another lap in the Alfa Romeo as Quick Mick um, sets a lap time of a one, as, as he actually improves his lap time with a one, um, with 126 one. That's a very good lap from Quick Mick. And this is a very good result for McLaren at the moment as the yellow flags at the final corner. I believe that's uh, Williams. I think he's just getting uh, slowed down. Um, I believe maybe he has no fuel. Or maybe, yes, I think he has ran out of fuel. Or oh, something's happened to him. I think and on the previous yeah. lap, O'Rangey spun and that caused him to be down by 11 seconds on his lap. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, um, on my screen it says he is around um, about two seconds behind the leader, uh, Shortbread, so pretty close there. But at the moment, um, so top oh, seven separated. Orangey round, Orangey round. Yes, yes, Orangey has just spun around speaking. I was just looking at him. He has spun at turn 12. That's a very common a place to spin there, uh, spin there, Leon. Very, very common. Uh, with obviously the cars, 2021 cars, it is very, very, very difficult to do that corner full throttle, obviously with the tyres. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry, everyone. No, stop on the Hamilton crashes, please. <laughs> Good evening to Piero. The cars are so off. I think your gamma's really high. Uh, hello to Cryptic, hello to P uh, Piero uh, in the chat, but uh, yeah, um, Leo, so uh, at the moment, very close between the top seven, six tenths, and let's see how the rest pans out. De Hebler not doing ideally um, compared to his brother Heblerino, the two Germans separated by nine, nine tenths, so not realistically what De Hebler wanted, but let, let's see, can he try and improve? Will Matza get pole position? Yes, by four milliseconds, they are separated. So it's very, very, very close and shy between the both of them. But at the moment, 
It's, it's Shortbread leading the way in qualifying under the lights of Bahrain. The race he has actually invalidated on this lap, so they probably need to box and get onto a fresh set of tyres to actually get a decent lap time in that. Will we end like an engine tonight? Uh, then Remy Ashwin, Matt is a very speed junkie. He will definitely be on pole. So we got a lot of determination there on to Matza. But unfortunately, Simon that Apex obviously has DNF'd uh, from thermal damage and so must have hit the wall somewhere very heavily. Speaking of which, Josh, that's a massive crash at the exit of turn six. There's big damage there. That is a very hefty whack for uh, Joshi G12. That is a very big hit at the exit of the chicane. That is a very hefty whack. But uh, Ben Roberts at the moment, P10 now. And and actually, DBD is someone who's... Yes, no. yes, is he off? Yes, our Peter is off, correct. Uh, our, our Peter's off, so the two Alfa Romeos not doing very, very, very well. As Tammy Dopdex, I believe, just gotten sick fastest in the Mercedes. As now there's yellow flags, but that is probably for drivers slowing down on their in-lap. But uh, as now Anto Pap has just finished his lap, I believe. Um, and I'm just quickly going on board with him. And yes, I'm not sure if he's on the lap, but I think he is, Anto Pap. And uh, now Max is now going to be rounding the final corner now. He's going to now just a very quick right curve now with DRS open on the Haas car. Is, it, is he going to improve? Yes, he will. One tenth ahead of Shortbread. Very good lap for him. It. Yeah, great lap by Matza, 25-7, pretty quick pace around here. But Orangey is obviously going to head into the pits now, as two seconds up on the, their lap, so... He oh. needs to just get out. Yeah, 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 um, so I was just quickly saying, um, yeah. Piero, so basically, we've, we're on this new format, so basically, Davra streaming... Uh, DBD was piece. round, DBD was round. DB's round? Yeah, yes, P yeah, DBD was actually round. Um, so he's Ben Roberts now, one millisecond behind NP, so he's getting very, very Ooh. close. Um, and look at that, for the top, from third to fifth, four milliseconds. That is absolutely close. I do believe well, that also Quick Mick has been round at the exit Ooh. of turn four. Ooh, the last not good then for Quick Mick, um, as now the Hebler as a validated on his lap. Uh, speaking of validation, very difficult um, to not go to invalidate. Obviously, you could invalidate a turn two. You can invalidate the exit of turn three as well into the first DRS zone or the second DRS zone, if you wish. Uh, so basically, yeah, was what I'm saying, uh, Piero, so basically, I have this new format. So basically, now we're speaking through Discord. Um, is that MRCS goes sixth fast? Is very good result for him at the moment. Um, yeah, so a uh, new star is born. Uh, yeah, uh, Matt's uh, in his at proper professional rookie racing and gather racing. So basically, I was saying uh, we're, we're speaking through Discord and then Gavra streams off his PC and he, he has like the overlays, he's got basically everything in there as now there's yellow flags in sector one that's one of the ferraris yes that um not the ferraris are the alfa romeos um spinning out that's our peter oh, but oh. shortbread with an absolutely jaw-dropping lap of a 125.3 shortbread with an excellent lap and leo that must have shocked you <laughs> yeah as you can obviously see from my reaction i'm sure that's great pace from shortbread there Obviously got a yellow flag in sector one. I don't know whether that's for a slow car or not. Oh, there's someone slowing down. And that's oh, cutting. Peter, he's just cutting the entire chicane going over the gravel even. Yeah, he has to be careful there to not to collect any drivers or ruin their um, lap. So uh, I think he's been very careful there. So our Peter now um, not having the greatest of sessions. Sure, Brett is not joking around. <laughs> I yeah, now Matz is now going on another outlap, so Matz has not done yet. 
he's going to be showing some true potential as now he is delivering at the moment. Uh, Joshi now is on a lap as well as the Red Bull of, I believe it was MRCS, into the pits. He goes for a fresh set of ties. I'm not sure why our Billy is Billy Misu. Um, apparently in a Bottas helmet. Um, what a good times for here. Didn't do many F1 here. Hello to F. Jordy. Welcome to uh, the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Um, hopefully you're good. And yeah, as now the current poll is who will get pole position. And uh, now just quickly looking. Shortbread, Matza um, uh, have tied up one. I am here for the amazing commentator. Uh, yeah, F. Jordy, I'm having a pretty good day as well. Obviously, despite the Italian Grand Prix today, was very, very good day. Uh, and yeah, uh, and obviously my new co-commentator after ND yeah. uh, left me, unfortunately, and I'm joking. Mm -hmm. um, after ND left me, it's actually Low Line or Leo for short. If uh, wow, if you guys great time from Josh, by the way, he's gone to P4 with the 25.8. Yeah, after, despite a very big whack in the barriers, he has gone to P4. So that's a very good um, re result to pull out from the hat there. For Josh is now he just pips uh, Heblerino who's on the lap. But Mats are now going into turn one. And now this is going to probably be his final chance and his final attack to try and get Shawbread now. It's going to be a 3 10 deficit now. This is going to be a very, very big um, site to work on. But uh, Mats are now going through sector one. As now he's not a purple first sector, so not what he wants. But now he's flying through the chicane now. He is just throwing the car now, giving it everything he has to try and deny Shawbread. As Shawbread is uh, at the pits at the moment, missed he can still apex, go out. Man. Yes, he has missed the apex there, so not going very well for Short, um, for Matza. But there is about one more sector to go, and there's a yellow yeah. flag. That's Joshi. Joshi spinning out at turn 12, and that's a big big whack but that could um in uh, interrupt as now Matt is only up by one tenth so this is uh so now Matt only has to now try everything he has now into the final corner now is it gonna be pole or is he gonna close in on this time shortbread is he gonna deny him and he does den not deny him by well 1.6 tenths of a second, and that's uh, an Alfa Romeo of our pizza uh, maneuvering the track. And now this, it's a that's a, a real leg uh, legend in the making. As now Matt says P2, unfortunately he could not get pole. He could not do anything more after Shawbread's excellent lap. But now um, Eblerino now going for the final corner. Well. I uh, just wanted to say that Ori, she doesn't seem to be having the best qualifying. Trying to start on the mediums, but his times have been not up to par, especially for a season four weekend in champion. Yeah, has not been very good for him, uh, Leo, this season, as now he's struggling through this medium. So the medium's not looking like the choice. It's MP now into turn one. He's not going to have enough time, but look how close it is. Ben Roberts. Just, just behind Matza by one millisecond. Oh, that's, one. that's very close. Matz, 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 super Matz. <laughs> Four so yeah, fast three time though. Yeah. Orenti has actually lifted off, so I think that's P14 for Orenti, which is not great qualifying for him. But he is going to probably be starting on that mid tyre. Yes, but still, he has the free choice of strategy, Leo, because he's outside the top 10. So, Quick Mick, yeah. at the moment, has the advantage, um, has the P11. Uh, so now he's going to go through the final corner. Is he going to keep that P11 to himself or not here? Now he's going to go through. Now, DRS open. He does have a big jump to P9 and one millisecond ahead of MRCS. Uh, hello to Pierrick. Uh, I think you're saying something. I think you're um, saying hey to um, somebody else. But uh, hello, F1 lover in the chat. Um, hope you're having a good day. And yeah, you've just, just now missed. As now Chinley now on his outlap. Unfortunately, he won't be able to start a lap. 
uh, the last last time out or uh, winning the um, the Bahrain Grand Prix, he unfortunately can't get pole. He's gonna now cross the flag unless uh, he somehow. Well, he's, he's actually still on a lap. Yes, he is on a lap. So now Chinley has an opportunity to try and get maybe uh, a position higher. Now he's only got six one hundredths to Heblerina, about one point two tenths. So wait, two. Um, Kelly so Cotter is looking pretty quick on his lap. He's just coming through the final corner now. Three tenths up on his previous time, but a little bit of a moment. Could this be yes. maybe even on pole? Yes, that's it's Tabby Top Dex. Yes, uh, that's P4, uh, uh, Leo. I'm sorry there. Um, yeah, so very good for Tabby Top Dex, who has been on the pace recently. Um, so he is showing his potential at the moment. Blue Can League are around the racing line, breaking assist, ABS, traction control, medium. Yes, that is correct. And yeah, is that that is going to end proceedings? But for Heblerino, it's not done yet as well. As for Chinley, he's one tenth up. So now he can try to qualify his teammate Joshi, who has and um, failed to reach the checkered flag. As now that's um, MP. Yes, MP with second fastest, one tenth. This is absolutely close now. As um, Heblerino just improved by five minutes. If I want to just put Chinley out qualifies his teammate and gets past Heblerino and what a qualifying that was. Um, you could not write in a script as hello to Castengel. Yeah. Um, Matza having a great qualifying in uh, Bahrain. Uh, especially for a rookie, he's doing a great job. Uh, MP, MP's lap was very quick. Great lap. And boot. Most importantly, shortbread. 125.3. Superb lap. Yeah, that was a superb lap what, uh, with a very, very good result. But you could not write in a script. Look how close it is. Uh, 11th to 1st by 7 tenths. Just look how close the timing sheets are. It's just amazing. But Quick Mick, unfortunately, can't get a lap in. Uh, so that ends qualifying. And boy, oh boy, that was a great qualifier. Joshua the boss takes P7. It's Steph, uh, Steph Wise, that is. I like the graphic on the right hand side. The first pole for shortbread. Yes, it is first pole for shortbread in um, its Korean gather racing, so that's very good. But look at that shortbread P1, MP is P2. Matsa, Ben Roberts, Tabby Dopdex, Chinley, Joshi, Heblerino, Quick Mick, MRCS. A complete top 10. The Hebler, Antopap, RP to O'Rangey, DBD, JMB Surreal, Billy Musa, and Sunlight Apex after having a DNF and crashing in the uh, pit lane, unfortunately, starts at the back of the grid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like we've been previously saying, O'Rangey not having a great qualifying there, but definitely has race pace. So, what I'd like to see what O'Rangey can do for the, in the race, but Tabby Top Decks. I think he has a great shot at winning the first race of the weekend league season. Yes, yeah, so I'll just quickly look at that chat. Um, my first poll was, I remember so good, Abu Dhabi Freshman League Season 1, being enjoyed by 0 0.003. Yes, yeah, speaking of just absolute close, uh, close, close quarters there, there for, uh, for Jordy then. Uh, but yeah, Gav was saying that new graphics will come soon, so you know, there's a lot of stuff now coming in so and that is very exciting to see uh, for uh for the whole thing so obviously now we're going to be starting the race we wait out so guys brilliant commentary so thank you griffin very much we appreciate that and leo as well it's first time commentating in gather racing so it very appreciate it helps him a lot but is, we're going to now we be might starting just, sorry but it, yeah. it might just be me, but there was a lobby update. I don't know whether that changed anything with the starting grid, but it said that the lobby updated, but I don't think anything happened, thankfully. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so, uh, interviews today. Um, no, no hey. interviews today. Um, I'll, um, I'll try and remember to contact Gavra, but it's going to be pretty difficult because... Um, some people will might not have Discord because now we do the parties and all that for Discord and you know that. But 
Uh, maybe we'll ch consider it. Um, we'll consider it again, Remy Ashwin. We'll consider it, but I'm not entirely sure what happened. As a uh, Piero, yes, Piero. My first goal. I remember also in Super League did shine in the wet. I got disconnected before the starts of the race. Oh well, that is very unfortunate. As the MRCS and then the Hebler make contact, um, and now they will be starting the race on the grid. Uh, doesn't mean their tyres will be going very cold. They will stay at the same operating window they had. I'm not sure what Ben Roberts is doing. Yeah. He made comparison and other stuff. So there's going to be a lot of stuff coming. Um, chat and everybody else. So we're going to be um, uh, just set our sights on that. But at the moment we have got uh, a very, very, very shaky grid. And it's going to be a lot to lose or a lot to win here because uh, all these drivers were very close to pole uh, from MRCS to uh, from the Hebler to Chopper, about seven tenths of a second. So it was absolutely close. I find it interesting that um, everyone who isn't in the top ten are all starting on the medium tyre, which could prove an interesting strategy in the 25% race. Um, just to note, Ben Roberts has gone off a couple of times in the formation lab. I don't know I don't know if he's got a wheel, but he's gone off and spun off. No, well, not spun off. He's literally gone off the track a couple of times. And, he's not, and it's just happened again. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening. What's happening to predictions? Safety car lap five. As Ben Roberts has uh, magically hit the wall and got disqualified. And grid. Very yeah. strange from Ben Roberts, but I think just have some weird feeling. Yeah, 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 that's fine. The British fish two places higher. So, yeah, we've got a lot of bold predictions now, but um, Leo, now we're going to be starting the bar right group. Obviously, it's Cone Master, mm -hmm. so sometimes the lights will be bugging, oh, but <laughs> now the revs will rise and we're going to so? start. Oh, we got these lights out of the way. We go short, but gets an amazing start. NP does not get the best of starts. Now it's oh, four wide oh, as that's oh, Ben Roberts ben crashing Roberts. out. And there's his chaos into turn one. There's a lot of battles going on as now Ben Roberts is DNF'd. But a short bed with an absolutely magical start. As now NP and Mats are now side by side. As that was three wide more. between the top four. As that was very close. And now the both, the pair of them now is now... And then he dives down the inside of Chinley. And now Chinley gets a fantastic start. As Chinley now goes into P3 at the moment. And then P has lost out very big. Uh, but Matza at the moment. P2 now from Shawbread. Who has a very good start. Didn't get compromised that much. Just but a quick note. Yes? Just a quick note that um, Tabby Topdex has had the greatest of starts. Down from P5 into P9. But also to Hebler. On the median tyre up into P8 has had a great start on P11, especially on the three trust tyre. Yeah, so uh, De Hebler now at the moment uh, grew a very good start on the medium, so obviously now he's on the alternate strategy, but a very good start. And a very good start from De Hebler and Tabby Dobdes as well, costing um, himself a lot, but now he's right behind. Um, to the head now he's going to now slipstream in now with the toe and now it's going to be very close now between the both of them now he's this three, three, three wide. wide yes it is going to be three wide between the three Ooh, of them but there is a bit of contact but Tabby Dobdex uh, gets the move done and both of them actually has now click make and the headler actually now go side by side and now this is a very nice battle between the pair of them. As now MRCS um, makes a count now and goes round the outside, but now oh, quick makes big. Yeah, it makes slight contact with MRCS and quick has lost out three, four positions as Ben, as as Ben Roberts wheel broke, uh, which is very unfortunate for him. But at the moment. It is Shawbread who's leading from Matza now. The pace from both of them is pretty much equal. But now Matza is crucial for him to get into that DRS, into one second barrier. 
As, I, as you can see, has to use so much ERS to get in that one second barrier, as it's very crucial as Chinley as well is using some ERS. So there's going to be a lot of uh, now plain sailing for these drivers. And um, so yeah, oh, very, so I'll have a comeback, mark my words. At the moment, Simon at Apex is now going through the final corner and, and he is starting on the mediums. But Quickmick into the pit, I think Quickmick has damage from the contact yes. with uh, MRCS. Yes, now he's going into the pits with the, with new medium tyres going on the car. No, he's not. It doesn't have damage, it's just the strategy for them. Early strategy and top for him. Oh, yes. Simon at Apex right on the back of uh, Billy. Billy me, so yes, yeah, so now Simon at Apex looking for the move, but he just can't look for it. And now he is just now going to just try and find a way. But there's very close between O'Rangian and Antopap. Antopap has turned into AI. He's liking very, very heavily. So now this is going to be very, 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 very... Uh, going to try and get back. Yes, and De Hebler have had massive contact, by the way. MRCS Ooh. almost round. Yes, that was MRCS. Now again... Um, Wheel to wheel now, trying to get wheel, nearly got wheel to wheel actually with MRCS. So RP to make it of a comeback after dismal qualifying. Two Alpha Romeos are making a very good comeback. Um, some of that Apex is just behind Billy Me, so he's just trying away at him. But uh, Matt seems to have picked up the pace now. DRS will be open, he has no ERS. As now Matza has set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, but now is it going to be Matza now sending it to turn one? He does not send it to one, he stings better. But now it's going to be very close now between the both of them. Now it's going to be a very intense fight now. DRS open for the McLaren, uh, not for the for the Matt Haas drive actually. As now he, they're going to go through turn four, but no change in position so far as though everyone is intact but Chinley now and the both teammates now are fighting for position on the podium at the moment so it's going to be very very close between the both of them Heblerino close behind as Toad Dobsex just goes really wide and nearly um, could have spun there as well but at the moment Matza is trying uh, everything now he's got no ERS as uh, Shortbread does have 50% ERS so Matza is giving absolutely full beans as now I sign that Apex now is looking to get the move on Antopap and he is slipstreaming him now he's going to go down the inside into turn uh, 11 and he does make the move stick and gets the move done on Antopap very very nice move as now Antipat looks to the outside he can't do that as that is the move done but now there's going to be another crucial fade now Shortbread is using the ERS but Matt says no ERS but with the DRS now Shortbread pulls out to the right hand side as now he looks to the inside because now Toby Douglas gets a 5 second penalty for speeding in the pit lane and that could be very costly at the end of the race I have a feeling that that could have just put Tabby Top Deck out of contention for the win. It's a very interesting battle, but Matza doesn't really stand much of a chance. As Shortbread has a lot of ERS compared to him, and that's going to hinder him on the straights especially. Yeah, so now Matza, um, yeah, pushing, just pressurising, waiting for a mistake for Shortbread. But Shortbread um, is now going to, is those Matza is now just using every ounce of ERS this man has in his uh, pocket and now he's going to have DRS wide open now and now we it's nine laps to go now Massa's just looking for the move now but at the moment not the greatest try for the move but at the moment it's very close Antopat now looking for the move on uh, Billy Misu DPD as well closing in on the miss um, on the Afatori driver but uh, Tabby Dobdex as you just said uh, Leo he could be in very big trouble with that five tire penalty for speeding in the pit lane. But now we've got to focus on Matza and Shawbread. Shawbread, I think, has made a very small mistake. Now, this is the race. Yes, late this is close. yes, this will be very close now. So now he's gaining his mm -hmm. gauge defense to the years. 
Yes, he does not. That goes down inside. Shawbridge. Shawbridge still is in there. There is some contact between the pair of them. But uh, Matza does get the lead at the um, barring Grand Prix at the moment. Yeah, I mean, Matza really did squeeze um, uh, Shortbread off there. But um, just to note that everyone has pitted, up, well, apart from the medium runners, but all the soft runners have pitted. So it's literally just Matza and Shortbread. I think they're probably going to be in a straight fight for a win unless there is a safety car. I mean, they might be banking on that happening, but I'm not quite sure. It's a cool fuck <laughs> Yes, yeah, so now Matson now goes a bit wide there in the process. Yeah, very, very wide. As now um, Simon at Apex now P7 at the moment with obviously uh, the the drivers at the front pitting for fresh rubber on the medium tyres, which takes them to the end of the race. But Shortbread now is going to be using his ERS, which he has saved. Um, whilst in the lead now, so this is going to be very, very close between the pair of them. As now Matza is leading the Bahrain Grand Prix at the moment, but for how long is now Matza? Will he dive into the pits? He oh, does a short break. Like like I think. Yes, that is um, DPT for wind damage for Ooh. the British driver, and that's big damage. He has no front wing in the Williams, so that must have been that's a big crash. And that's David Dobdex making contact with DBD. DBD not leaving the track so very held, nicely. Has been held, by the way. Matz has been held, which has allowed Shortbread to jump him. Yes, yeah, so that's hampered him definitely. But Matza is still that's very close. But now, as well. as our traffic as well as now, this is a very big fight. But Chinley nearly under Castell with this. So we have to win now. This is, this is for the net race lead now. MP now Chinley now sends it. Uh, um, Chinley now sends it to the inside of uh, NP. NP is trying for the switchback, but he's way too far. As now this is going to help Matza. And now this is a straight five-way, a six-way battle for the win for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And this is going to be very, 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 very crazy. ERS. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. There's so basically ERS. Um, if it's green um, on the ERS, that means they're using the overtake button. They're using the overtake button, which basically gives them more power to use on the straights. But if it's less than 10 percent, then they don't have much uh, the energy. As oh, that's a big crash. Oh, God, Chinley! I can't believe that Chinley has probably lost it on the. Jeez, I thought that he wasn't. If he wasn't ghosted there, that could have been a massive crash. And that's not to McLaren now, that's Quick Mick. Quick Mick wow. went off the circuit for a second. That could be <laughs> Chinley out of contention for the win, which is very upsetting because he was having a great fight with Shortbread. And MP has got a yeah. five second grid penalty. For, time, time penalty. And, and I think he's also got front wing damage, I'm, I'm, I think. Yes, he does. Yeah, but he's been collected by Chinley. Um, Chinley has actually spun and he's been collected. That is very unfortunate for um, him. But Chinley still alive and still he can live on for another six yeah. laps. But um, I thought Shortbread at that time was leading a train of about six cars until uh, Chinley spun. He's allowed him to gain a gap on Joshi, who at the moment is in a net P2 position. So... Well done to the Aston Martin driver and Heblerino, obviously in Nepi 3, but Matza has also got to try and get past these two if he wants to get back into the position and fight for the win, which we could quite possibly see on these back straight and the main straight. Yeah, that was one of the biggest crashes I've seen. That's so lucky not crashed into them. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Um, yeah, it, that corner is so difficult for traction at times. You just lose the rear like a magic wand. Um, when turning into human into a frog it's so it just happens at times but that is very unfortunate oh over is nice. that some apex now going into the pit lane and going for his soft tires now this is where the strategy comes out so obviously shortbread is going to be leading here but obviously by how much 
but, but how, how much? That is the real question. But Hemlerino and Joshi uh, now wheel to wheel now. This is for net P2 at the moment. As Hemlerino now. Yes, uh, Joshi cut that very big. DPD has a three second Down penalty. But now, um, watch out for Matza coming close. It's really contact between the two of them. As now the Master Marty does get ahead, still defends his position for another day. And he's going to still be fighting. But Heblerino is very close there. Matza as well, very close. Now, this is a 3 way fight for the podium positions. Yeah. As a, and Tabby Dobdex, uh, Chinley as well might get interrupted this as well. But. Watch out for O'Rangey on the fresh soft tyres. He's going to be rapid. De Hebla, Simon, Ape, Simon that Apex, Billy Miso, Antopap, um, MP and DBD as well. They are on softs, but I don't think it will be enough for them to catch up as Antopap gets a three second time penalty, which will hamper him. But Simon Apex has just made up a position that is one at the moment and now is on quick nick. And he's now into P12, so that can we get a reply? My lucky Matza got into traffic. Yeah. 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 I also wanted to point out that Matza has two warnings, so if he gets one more, that could be a three-second time penalty. But Head Naruto is about to get past Joshi, so you go. Yeah. So Matza with that Ooh, pit stop contact. Oh, his contact, yes, between the both of them, Joshi now, as now this is a big option for Matza to get a three second time penalty, that is very unfortunate for him now, they're going to be side by side now, Matza is going to get very hampered now, as now uh, Matza does get ahead of Joshi and now into third place, but now he has to build a three second gap um, into for Joshi because he has that three second penalty he got um into turn four and three. But yeah, just as I was saying that Matza had two warnings, he goes and gets that three place grip penalty. But Hebner Reno really did squeeze out Joshi there, which allowed Matza to um get on the back of him and eventually obviously overtake. Yeah, um, yeah, so at the moment now Matza is his second opponent is now um um, Heblerino, who is now three seconds behind um, the leader of the race, which, who is shortbread, and arranged now closing in on Tabby Dobdex. Tabby Dobdex weaving to break the slipstream, and now as now there's a yellow flag. That's a McLaren of Quick Mick. Yes, spun and that's wing damage, and that Ooh. is a uh, front wing gone for the McLaren driver. Very unfortunate for him. And that could be the end of the race for the driver in the McLaren. Very unfortunate, but now, but now is a Matsunao and Heblerino fighting as there's very Ooh, close contact. To contact. There is a bit of contact there, as now there's a two by two behind, as well as now that's a very aggressive movement. Um, uh, Arrangey does get ahead, but Heblerino does get overtaken by Matza. So now Matza has to throw the car now. He has to try and build somehow a three second gap, which will be a very big mountain to climb for the driver and his brother making up positions at the moment on P with P10. At the moment, as a son at Apex has actually oh spun. At the excess now, JB Sreenili spins as well. And that is very unfortunate for Simon at Apex, who is on a run. As now, JJ Bomb gives one bit. Very thank, thank you very much for that one bit. Um, and now, as you can see, yeah, Gavra, so many battles in this year, so much. It's filled with battles. And most of them are coming with very, very good battles. Very slight contact. But that. Uh, but very, very good racing at anyway. But this, yeah? I just wanted to make a couple of points. Um, when Heblerino, uh, when Matt was overtaking Heblerino, I looked at Matt's side pod and it, it appeared that maybe he had a little bit of damage. And also, O'Rangey, what a drive. Could he be on for a podium shot here? Especially with Matt's penalty. If he gets past Joshi, uh, O'Rangey will be on the podium. So. Great drive. Actually, he won't be because he has got a penalty, I think. Yes, he does. Oh, um, oh, that 
is very unfortunate for her Blarino as Orangi nearly collects him. I saw there he had to take avoiding action and he nearly collects Heblerino, but Heblerino still is there. But Orangi does have a penalty, and we'll just quickly see he has a five second time penalty, and that five second time penalty for speeding in the pits could definitely hamper him, and that is very unfortunate. For the, the moment, either. Uh, at the moment, that penalty for Orochi would push him back to P8, um, I think. No, yeah, P8. Uh, so that's uh, unfortunate. No, it won't be. It'll be P7 because Tabby Top Dex also has that penalty. So yeah, unfortunate for him because he has had a great race, but that would still be a great race for him. Yeah, so now Orochi now uh, make preparing his third as as for opponent for the podium position on track now he is going to use the ERS he has the subscription he has the soft and he has the grip and now he's going to go down the inside into turn one and as a piece of cake for Orangey as he now goes into turn one into third place now his next opponent is dangerous and quick um, Matza now who is now just uh, I'll just lay him back now as shortbread looks set uh, see a very comfortable win for the driver. Nice reaction, yes, Piero. Yeah, very good reactions and reflexes there from O'Rangey just to keep that car out from any damage. But yeah, O'Rangey is flying at the moment. Obviously, with the soft tyres and the grip, he's going to be in flying zone. Ben Roberts has joined back into the session, so uh, yeah, everything, yeah. I uh, just wanted to say that there's been a couple of passes. So, uh, De Hefler uh, has passed Chinley, and uh, Billy is up into the points and has passed MRCS, who is on those warm mediums. So, the people who started on the mediums have had a great um, strategy, but Hevlerino has actually left the session. I think he's lagged out. He has disconnected, unfortunately. And now this brother, De Hebler, will have DRS as well as Chinley. So now what De he Heblerino has to now connect to this session as quickly as humanly possible. Because now he's going to, now De Hebler will have that DRS as well as Chinley. It's now Orangey now making the move now to the inside. Batsa goes very deep. But now Orangey goes and does another switch back. This is fantastic. There's a final lap now. As now Orangey does get the move. But now... Orangey whoops around as that is the move successfully done. As now this overtakes now the Hebler gets past the uh, Heblerino. JB Surreal and Anto Beb get past, but now it's MRCS. Yeah, sorry about my noise, but MRCS, yeah, round. Unfortunate yeah. for him. I wondered why he was losing so many positions, and that was the reason. But Orangey needs a two second gap to Matza. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, obviously, now on the last lap. So, yeah. Yeah, so um, MRCS unfortunately has spun. But now we end the race. Now, a shortbread, an absolute perfect executed race. After not having a very, very, very easy race, he's been heavily pressurised by the man um, from... Mats Matza, who is in third, but Shawbread is going to cross the line. He's going to win the Barre Grand Prix, and he wins here at the season opener. Here in Rangey goes down to P4. So great win. Oh, Rangey takes to P4. Joshi with a P2. Uh, Matza as well. This is going to be now shake. She's shaky, shaky. Oh, and Heblerino eleventh. He's, he misses out oh by no. 10 milliseconds from JMB Cyril. So JMB Cyril gets the point and stand that apex after that disconnection. Very good race for him, but just was not enough to get them the race. So now um, MP6 now crossing the line and now quick Mick have finished the race as well. Because now MP... Mm -hmm having a fantastic race in his debut, professional debut. Unfortunately, he has collected um, Chinley and that cost him the race of having a podium. Unfortunately, he crosses the line. 
into P as now quick mick it doesn't have a front wing as he yeah, is so what i saw quick mick uh, spin actually um coming off of um maybe it was uh turn one maybe even turn two but i think I, he spun i think unfortunately hebelarina actually had some penalties which pushed him down to p11 and it's unfortunate because he had literally just rejoined right at the end of the race so unfortunate for hebelarina there Yes, definitely very, very unfortunate for him. But Shortbread gets the W and the win under his belt. But now we've got one more race to follow. So don't leave us yet. There is a one-shot quality and a 25% uh, race to follow. So make sure you don't miss it. This is It's going to be a very... Very, 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 very interesting. Hopefully, Massa's just a better driver. Grace Race, Shortbread. Yeah, very good uh, from Shortbread. Um, fantastic race from everyone. But here's the crew now. Shortbread, after a great race, P1 for, for the British driver. So, British, British 1 2 at the moment. So, as now Matza follows him as well. Orange, the Heber, Chinley, Tabidopdex. Uh, Billy Misu and uh, Peter and Jamie will complete the top 10. Head Lorino, Samna Apex, Anto Pap, MRS, DBD, NP, Quick Mick have unfortunately um, missed out on the top 10. And we will be now quickly just muting ourselves and waiting uh, for the one shot qualifying. And hopefully you guys, I will see you guys there in about five to six minutes. And we'll see you then. Goodbye for a very, very short time.
Well, hello everyone. We are back. Um, racing here, and it's great to see you, everyone, guys, again. So, uh, just quickly to look at the chat. So, Pierre is saying, "New overlays is a big improvement for stream quality." Yes, exactly. It, it will be very, very, very big. So, Chinley to his win second race. Stevie Bandage saying, "Simon for the win," and. As uh, Jeremy Ashley just put in some car emojis, and now we're going to set to go racing once again here around Bahrain. But I uh, just going to quickly tell you guys about the format. So, for this race, it's not going to be 20 at normal F1 format for points, it's going to be. It's, it's going to be um, the. F2 points format, so first place got 15 points and etc. And and yeah, so yeah, Shinny, thank you for J Bomb for the uh, four mm -hmm. points and for the one bit. And big fan of the Hass boys, yes. So now we're going to be starting very shortly uh, for the one shot qualifying. Well, hopefully so. It's taking a very long time. I don't know what's happening, but I think someone isn't readying up or someone's got bad internet because it's taking a long time to load here. Yeah, we just have to wait and see what will happen. So, yeah, maybe we need to see like another lobby made because this is just an infinite loading. Yes, lobby glitch. Um... I'm not sure, not sure what uh what happened, but I hope it's just not lobby glitch. I hope it's not. Maybe someone's internet is yeah gone. I really hope it's not a lobby glitch because we're great chemistry. Twenty two cons. Thank you, thank you, Remy Ashwin, for that. Thank you. Or someone's just left. Yes, think there's a glitch. Yes, Ben Roberts, we're experiencing probably glitches. And unfortunately, guys, we have to. Oh, I'm again really annoyed, but fortunately, we have to abort mm. that session and make a new session. Lobby so, we, yes, we're going to be getting a new lobby. So, we'll see you guys in five minutes or more longer uh, for the session and everything to reload. And I'll see you guys then. And. Yes, very sorry for the technical problems, but yeah, we'll see you then.
So then I'm going to be commentating on this lap. So I'm going to go on board with Ben Roberts on their lap. So Ben uh, Ben Roberts is uh, actually a race then. A race is going to come through turn three. Is going to go up the back straight uh, onto turn four. Matza is out of uh, one shot quality. Something's obviously happened to him. He's not going to have a great qualifying. Coming through the S section with Oracy. He's had a great S section there. Hopefully not going to get on the curb. Not going to go too wide. Coming down into this little tight hairpin. Great exit. Making sure to minimalise the amount of oversteer you get. So he's going to come down into this tight left-hander. Not going too much on the curb and not too much on the curb on the exit. Overall, a clean for Arishi so far. Where is this lap going to put him? Breaking as late as possible. Clipping the curb a little bit, making sure not to get onto the outside curb. Coming through this corner. People are mostly prone to spinning here. Are we going to see Arishi? Spin? No, we're not. He's going to keep it clean. Making sure having a little rear lock up there. That's not going to help. But still now P5. So obviously, unfortunate about Matz's crash. But uh, they're coming through the final corner now. Orensi, where is he going to put it? And who is going to put it on pole? Ben Roberts is probably going to put it on pole. But Orensi comes through for P5. And MLCS disqualified, probably invalidated on their lap. So yeah, that is one shot quality. On to the other 25% race. Zexify, what do you think about that qualifying? Uh, yeah, that, that was a great lap. Uh, Max, uh, unfortunately, he has DNF'd. Uh, I, was, I was on board with, um, actually, Billy Misu. He has actually spun. But we're going to quickly take the rook of results. So, Ben Roberts on pole position with NP uh, on P2. Very good result from him. Joshi, Shawbread, O'Rainsey, Tavi Dobdex, De Hebler, Chinley... Uh, Heblerino and RP to complete the top 10. So it's a better qualifying for the Alphas, which is very good to see. JMB Saru and Topap outside the top 10. Same that Apex, same that's Apex not having a very good qualifying session. Pretty dismal. Uh, DBD P14. Uh, then Billy Misu um, out uh, with 11. Max, his, his, his will do work. His wheel didn't work, unfortunately, so... Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's unfortunate for uh, Matza there, as he was probably going to be on for a strong qualifying in Bahrain. So, we're going to get ready for, uh, obviously, that's out. So, yeah. Yeah, so now it's going to be time for lights out for the second time. And he is working on it. Yeah, so hopefully now his wheel will get fixed. And hopefully the Hass boys will fix it for him or whatever. But hopefully that his wheel does get fixed before the race. But we're going to be now starting the race for the second time now very shortly. And now we will be starting very shortly. And I can't wait for this race. Um, and Leo, you must be as well. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. Formation lab, I take it. So uh, we've got a couple of people pulling off to the side. They're going to let people go, I think. I don't know what happened with the other Alfa Romeo there. Um, obviously, our Peter starting P10 and O'Rinsey starting P5. So decent qualifying for them. But Ben Roberts now is wheels working. He's going to be a massive threat. Shortbread P4. So decent qualifying after his win in the previous race. So, yeah, hopefully this race is as, uh, as exciting as the previous yeah, so let's see. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. So hopefully um, everyone will go off the line successfully. Hopefully Ben Roberts will not have that DNF he had uh, earlier because of his wheel disconnecting, unfortunately. So hopefully does not get any more issues with his wheel anymore. But now everyone is going to be now warming up the tyres, warming up the energy on their brakes and making sure everything is nicely prepared um, but O'Rainsey with a fantastic result after a dismal first uh, part of qualifying. Unfortunately, insights from the paddock in our own Netflix can hire me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. Um, interesting, though. The two Alpha Tauris are the only people starting in the mediums for this race. So are they gambling uh, on going on, I think? Which they've seen in the previous race that it's helped. So they're probably gambling. And I don't know if Natsa's wheel's working. There's again... 
very, very slow. Yes, yeah, so something is wrong with Matz's wheel. And that could be very unfortunate. But now we're going to be waiting now for Matt to base on AI, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not sure what has happened to Matza, but I think something's happened with his wheel, which has caused uh, him. But, um, but yeah, let's see. Hopefully his wheel will work for the race. But now we're going to get ready for lights out. Now Matza will be now lighting up at the final grid slot in P17. And will now be starting the yeah. Here we go then. You do the lights out now. Yeah, so now, yes, it will be lights out very, very shortly, but the lights rise and the throttles now will yeah. be the revs rise. It's lights out and away we go. Ben Roberts does get a very good start. Joshi, we got a very good start, but it's a three, oh, four, oh, five oh. wide into turn one oh, as now. End. As other both oh Aston God, Martins make top. Oh my gosh! Tommy Top Deck literally was right on top, and that is the headlock onto the grass. This is absolute craziness on this race start. That's all come from a chimney send. That was a very big crash there from Tabby Dobdex. He has been, he's done basically a Grosjean 2012 at Belgium. He's, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, Matz's wheel doesn't work. So GG. Uh, Netflix can hire me. <laughs> and then Netflix can hire me here. Yes, yeah, so that is someone behind. That's the Hebler round. Wow, that was that was a risky move down in tunnel. Uh, turn ten. Yeah, but Orangey having a dismal start from P5 to P10, as well as Joshi, as well, has to take avoid an action from that incident. Mm. But hopefully the stewards will look at it. Uh, but at the moment, Ben Roberts, very good start from him. Now P1 at the moment, shortbread as well as NP as well closing in on him. But now it's a yellow flag. That's what we're seeing. Is Tabby Dobdex? Yes, Tabby Dobdex has unfortunately uh, lost the car at the end of turn 13. And now to Hebler, now goes down the inside of Tabby Dobdex and takes P15 at the moment. And now it's going to be very intense now, but Tabby Dobdex now using the ERS. And now there's going to be a, uh, a now a very close fight between them now, but unfortunately the cameras are screws up. But Tabby Dobdex makes a bit of a mistake there, but he does get past the Hebler. And now the Hebler will be gaining on him now using the ERS. Now he sends it, he tries to send it to the inside, but he does not have the space but that is spinning that's Anto Pap spinning and that is front wing um, at the barriers actually passing the barrier the arm cone and that is very big lag but there's some debris on the track so there could be a virtual safety car there is a bit of debris on the track but hopefully gets cleared from the sh uh, from the marshals but um, at the moment Sam that apex now is closing in on MRCS but at the moment, everything has been settled, or maybe hasn't yet. Orange is not calling that at the moment as Joshi has spun into turn 12. That's a very, very unfortunate moment there. As now Joshi unfortunately has spun there for the second time, I believe, this um, race uh, time. But now Madsen looks to the inside, but Billy Misa breaks very late and bravely. And now Orange now will be on the straight. Now DBD. With a fantastic start of the race from P14 to P7, he is doing a dream right now. So let's see now, can he now he's, he tries? Matza. Well, as Matza now goes down the inside of Billy Meat, who does get, get the move done, as now DRS is enabled, so the drivers will have the rear wing open. Oh, oh wow, that's some great defending from DBD. We've been in the straight, I think, more than two times though. Yeah, so DBD defending for his might, but can does he still have Wait, any more? Whoa! Ooh, there's this big battle there, but Orangey sticks. Oh, what a switch back that is from Matza, by the way. 
Yeah, so as now Matza does get now as DBT loses two positions in the space of two corners. And this is not working very nicely, but Matza does make a mistake. But now as DBT uses the ERS, the overtake button, that's us. Uh, we're working now. Great. That is great to see that his wheel's working, but he's not ERS in three laps. So that is very, that's very quick. That's, that's a big crush time that um, oh. Matza, Matza, Matza's actually spun. Speaking of, speaking of Matza, he actually does spin out. That's Ferrari, that's the headlock, by the way, he hasn't just gone off at times well. But yeah. something that I find interesting is that has Ben Roberts has already got one warning. So he needs to just keep it within the track limits, not do anything silly and um, just make sure that he can cruise home to the win. Billy Misha and MRCS yes, now very close fight. There is contact between Billy Misha and DBD. DBD! Oh. And that is contact. Billy Misha clips. Um, but I think that was DBD's fault. Um, I think that was DBD's fault. He did go a bit optimistic there round the outside of... Um, that was MRCS. Yes, a bit too optimistic there round the outside. And basically MRCS yes, just clipped a side pod of DBD. And that DBD unfortunately now has to now um, defend now from uh, for the two of Mercedes and two Hasses behind the rear wing and there's no DRS to help him either. So now this uh, D D DBD will be a sitting duck but now DBD now is getting pressurised from something at Apex. He sends it to the inside. Very far move from DBD the Dutchman. Come back at him, I think. DBD looking to come back at him, yes, uh, Leo, but unfortunately it's not good enough to get past him. Yeah, I mean, it's been an interesting race so far, a few crashes at 10 12, but um, short break now 1.5 seconds. Actually, interestingly, MP has dived into the pits. Yellow flag at 6 2, that's Anto Fab, I think, has actually yes. gone round. Yes, at 10. For Keynes, but now NP and the Hebla, uh, Heblerino now pit for fresh rubber, and that is for the yellow strapped medium tyres. Sends it on Tabby Top next. Oh, DBD, you spun at turn one. Oh, no. So that's very unfortunate. DBD now has unfortunately spun, and after. Yeah, yes, that's uh, Tabby Top Dex, I think. Yes, that oh. match. Big contact there. as. I just, I just had yeah. oversteer. Matt just had oversteer and nearly lost the car. Luckily, it. Speaking of, Billy Misu is round, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, Tabby, uh, Billy Misu is round, so really unlucky there. But still, um, um, MRCS now is closing in on Billy Misu, but he's not close enough to try and go for Billy Misu. As now Billy, as now MRCS has the great run, the slipstream and the overtake button and the DRS. What else would you like? You want an overtake as well? Go for it. Go down the inside. But Billy Misu fights back, and if this, uh, Billy Misu goes tries to go for that amazing move around the outside, but unfortunately doesn't go for it. But Matza now go down the inside of Tabby Dobdex on the final corner. There's a bit of content and Matza. As Spun has reset to the track, and he is reset to the track, and unfortunately, oh, yes. oh, no. as he does yeah. have, yeah, unfortunately, we cover it. There's oh, another uh, one, another one. Someone else is round. That is Joshi. Joshi has lost it at that again. same part of the track again. That's Those the hard tires aren't great. Yeah, the hard tires don't seem to be working on Joshi's car. And oh, that, MP. Yeah. Oh, MP. MP. Yes, no, MP. MRCS, sorry. MRCS. Oh, oh, the contact there between Billy Misu and MRCS. MRCS now looking for the move on Billy Misu, but can't get it quite done yet. But Down I was just inside. Whoa. Big That's dive bomb as MRCS has spun there. That's MRCS's fault. Get a bit too optimistic down the inside there. But um, two alphas are fighting. All this, the two alphas now. This as now, Orange does get ahead, so maybe 
They're playing a team game and O'Rangers now just got past our Peta and now the two Alpha Romeos have swapped places and will this be a strategy um, call? But hopefully there won't be a strategy problem. But now Ben Roberts comes into the pits for, uh, for now the medium tyre Shockbread follows him in and um, his nearest race protagonist protagonist but I was just asking earlier Gavro oh is now MT closing in on Billy Misu but can't get it quite Ooh. done yet but um, Billy Misu goes into the box and goes for fresh rubber um, yeah uh, I just uh, just wanted to add that Ben Roberts if he he has two warnings and if he gets one more that could maybe even cost him his win here just need to, yeah like I said earlier just need to try and keep it clean yeah, so it's very hard, and now Ben Roberts has only one more chance, but NP is close, close to, um, but Shortbread has missed out a lot. I'm just quickly seeing, and yes, NP has made the stop, so Shortbread has lost out. Oh, wow. Significantly to Shortbread, uh, to Ben Roberts, so now NP has jumped him. And just looking at the stops, MP has pit. So now this is for the net race lead for the for the driver in the Williams. So yeah, come on, Aston Martin says JJ Paul. And he now at the moment as now DBT gets a three second time penalty. But as now Josh yeah, Lee, has, DBT was spinning at turn four, losing the rear possibly as DBT Ow. retires on track. And could that be a safety car? Uh, Jambi Surreal, by the way. Jambi Surreal has lost it at turn 12. And no damage for him, but he has very, very small damage on the left-hand side. No end plate there for the British driver, and unfortunately, he has to now carry that car to the flag, but no DNA, um, no safety car, actually. Uh, at, the, at the moment, so... Uh, yeah, so not probably getting a lot of the undercar. NP um, gained a lot, yes, exactly. But now this is going to be a three-way fight for the win. But Ben Roberts, as you say, Leo, he has to watch out for the um, for the dangerous NP and for and for Shortbread as well. Chinley with P4 at the moment, but um, Heblerino is coming as well. The two alphas now fighting for position. And same that Apex and Tommy Douglas are now fighting for position as well. So it's going to be a very, very uh, chaotic, uh, very, very fun race. As now MP has actually lost out DRS, but he does have the DRS into the straight. So he must have been under one second in the DRS detection point. So that means he is still in the fight. But this might look like Ben Roberts has just going to the address but Ben Roberts has set the purple middle sector of, oh, no. of, of the lap but now I don't MP, think MP's got DRS by the way yes he does not have DRS unfortunately and now yes he does actually have DRS so oh, just, wow. just at the nick of time he does have DRS but now he has to gain as much as he can now as now Ben Roberts says the fast lap for 1 minute 27 point 9742 if I'm 942 sorry um, and that is very close, but at the moment, it's now going to be now very close fighting for the win. MP and Ben Roberts. Shortbread has backed out a bit, so it doesn't look like Shortbread is going to try and contest for the win anymore. So it's now between for the showdown of the second weekend league win for between Ben Roberts and MP. But yeah, just wanted to add there that uh, Ben Roberts at the exit wall owns this for the MP, by the way. Uh, ben Roberts at the exit of uh, turn three looks very, very close on track limits. And MP doesn't actually have the RS this time. Yes, so now this is crucial for the race. This could be race defining because DRS is crucial to get because that is the key to success for race wins for every driver, even the best of the best and everyone wants that DRS but unfortunately MP does not have that right now and Ben Roberts now is his best time now to try and pull out of that one second barrier and he has successfully but can he try and maintain it for about five more laps of the Bahrain Grand Prix but at the moment there's 
Um, nothing very, very big going on right now. Mm. And it's just now going to be flat out to the line. But about five, six, seven seconds separates. Uh, five, ten seconds separates the top, t um, top nine and um, top seven. Sorry. Uh, so the top seven separate by around 12 seconds and to be a very, as most accurate yeah. um, 11 seconds to the leader um, uh, from our yeah. leader. I do want to say that Joshi seems to have a very low rear downfall setup through 10 12 having to lift off so much just to reduce the, uh, the chance of sw uh, spinning for the Aston Martin. Yeah, so that means that Joshi has got a very low downfall setup. Uh, so that means that's why he has been spinning really recently. So that setup causes him to spin very, very often in that in the Aston Martin. But at the moment, Chinley at the moment is collecting very solid points for the Aston Martin team. Joshi unfortunately did get second for his podium, but unfortunately has spun twice and yeah, it's been a very wretched race for, um, as well as um, Alpha Tori. They as well have failed a, a lot as well. Both of them just being outside the top 10 for success fit for a lot of time. But maybe they could try and pull some out of the bags somewhere. Um, and at the moment, it's very close. But now, O'Rainsey now is closing on Heblerino. This is fight for P5. And now this is going to be a very interesting fight. So can O'Range still pull up something on the bag into the final laps of the race? He is. Ben Roberts is always going to run the risk of getting that um, three second time penalty. So if, yeah, MP just needs to stay within a three second gap. If he does that and Ben Roberts gets penalty, that could be P1. But just wanted to also note that. Uh, there's a decent fight between uh, Orensi and Heblerino. They're getting really close. Could this is be this is quite an interesting fight for P5. Almost contact there, by the way. Yes, there is a bit of contact between the both of them. So now Orensi now looks to be pushing, and now Shortbread is starting to gain a little bit on um, NP. So NP now has got to now defend. From shortbread looks to be like as now the pet as now shortbread he's just missed the DRS by three one hundredths of a second three oh and a half hundredths of a second as now one bit for JJ Bomb as well um let's go Chinley let's go as Chinley now is on the straight now he's three seconds behind he's got a bit of clear right. I think O'Rinsky is going to overtake Cabrini now losing yes. someone is how it goes down the inside into turn one. Peblerino does not defend it that hard, but O'Rangey with hard, hard ice and very cool there. Very, very good overtake. But now uh, O'Rangey pulling out the slipstream and very, very smooth racing there from the pair of them. The German um, has to pull out for P6 at the moment. As now, uh, some of that apex now is. Are trying for P8 at the moment to collect a bit more points for the Haas team, but let's see what can Matza do. Um, some the Apex do in the Haas. Um, Shortbread is really, really pushing to try and gain on NP to pull for that P2, but this is NP looks to have lifted off from Ben Roberts, and Ben Roberts has literally pulled a second in the past uh, couple of laps, so. I think that's a one for short, but as well, a little bit wide there, but I'm not sure. I'm 100% sure. Yeah, that is fine, but now some that Apex is now going to be trying to challenge. Uh, but now this is where the the hard moment comes for MP now. MP now is in, now a short break is in DRS reach of MP. So now this is going to be a podium, a fight for second now. So. It's the penultimate lap of the Bahrain Grand Prix. So now this is all or nothing for the both of them. Is it good? Is it going to be second for Shawbrand or for NP? This is going to be a very intense fight now for the podium. Yeah, but Shawbrand now is trying, just making sure 
he is in that DRS and he is well into that DRS, but it's going to be very difficult to overtake him with the little ERS, but both of them have equal amounts of ERS with 20% each, but Shortbread is giving it everything as though Joshi Pitts... I think but, he's going to go for fastest lap. Yes, so he is going for fast lap, so a very uh, team play there for him. So now Joshi's going to look for the fastest lap. So just looking quickly, the fastest lap is in a 127.942. So now this is gonna be so now he's gonna try his attempt on the first lap and so Anto Pap does get him now they're side by side as anti Anto Pap just uh, by 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 the length of a pencil gets ahead of Joshi and but now we're gonna be here we go for shortbread on MP by the way. On the final lap of the Bahrain Grand Prix now he's gonna be a very solid sub stream. With the, in the DRS now, this is going to go down the inside of NP now. As that move done, is the move succeeded? But is it going to be the end now? NP but now, NP is going to get some stream. He's he no, played very late, but sure, Brad. Things better of it. But things better of it, yes, exactly. And he stays ahead. And stays behind actually of Shortbread, and Shortbread has taken P2 on the final lap. And that was a nicely executed lap there. And that is at the moment P2 for the uh, British driver. But Shortbread still can, does MP still have something in store now Do you, uh, with the ERS now? Um, both, but now he looks for the move, he has to have a look. On him, but it looks like Ben Roberts is gonna pick up the second race win. Unfortunately, after his wheel f disconnecting and his yeah. wheel broken, he's weaving on the final corner now. He goes to that on the final corner. He has not done quite well in the last race after the wheel failure and not good after qualifying. He does take P1. And Great. still goes on a high. Oh, Emma has literally just overtaken Billy Meese P11. Yeah, so Billy Meese now will drop into P11, but MRCS does indeed have a five second time penalty. So Billy ah, Meese yes. will take P11 on the flag, but MRCS will take P11 on the track. And that is a very good race from Ben Roberts, who has done an amazing race. And that current pole is at the moment uh, Ben Roberts P2 um, yeah yeah I just want, I'm just gonna go keep on ball with Josh just to see if he can take that fastest lap away from Ben Roberts yeah so he now he's got a purple sector too by the way yeah so now Joshy now he's just giving it everything now he has in the pocket now through the final corner yep now, through the final corner through the final corner now does it pretty nicely. Could have done it better with take uh, going in more in the apex, but it goes through now. It does, it does indeed lap. take the fast lap by 1.1 seconds? Wait, by one tenth actually. Uh, no, whereas now Ben Watson and Ginley do equal the far uh, the driver day pole. And from my point of view, I have to go. Yeah. So so uh, hello. So yeah, that was a great race, but. Uh, we, we can now get say goodbye to Low Lion, and he has to go, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll see you. Thank you, everyone. See you next Sunday. Yep. See you, Low Lion. Okay, so that was just me at the moment, as uh, Lona has to unfortunately leave the um, Discord call. But that is fine, as that was a very, very, very good race. NP. And forty take of uh, Pate takes P three uh, after trying, but it's Ben Roberts P one, Shortbread P two, MP P three, which collects the points. Another British uh, UK one two, MP Chinley, Orangey Heblerino, R Peter, Tabby Dob Dex, Seven Apex, and Matt complete top ten. It's a decent uh, enough result for the Haas. Billy Misu takes P11 with the Hebler P12, MRCS P13, Jane B. Subaru, 
uh, with Joshua in the first lap, who got it at the final lap. And then Antopap and DBD, unfortunately, with that DNF, ends on the final um, position. Thanks for the commentary. Enjoy that. Thank you, JJ, for the one, two, two bits, actually. Uh, thank you for the Gia. Gia Gav, seen as, yeah, cheers uh, to Ben Roberts. Uh, cheers to everyone. Hopefully, you guys had a great day and a great time enjoying the stream. Very thank you for the 30 plus viewers who joined. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. So, make sure you follow us on all socials. Like, um, Dendry.commentary again. Thank you very much, Remy Ashwin. So, unfortunately, I've got to go, but make sure you can sign up on our leagues on the website of Gavra Racing. Dot altavista.org with a gathering on the YouTube for all of our uploads for leagues and all of that. Gathering notes with for our Instagram and Twitter for uh, official gather for the gather race on there. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed the stream, and I will see you guys very soon. And for next week, stay tuned for France around Paul Ricard, where you'll be joined by Low Lion. And I'll see you guys very shortly. Enjoy your evening. Goodbye.